Hello and welcome to the Redmen TV and another edition of the Extra Time Show. Woo, what a week, what a great show, we all love it. Anyway, um, Liverpool drew 2-2 with Bournemouth earlier on midweek and then we come from behind and won 2-1 against Stoke. Hell of a game, really, that first half, the formation, the players picked, no one had a clue, no one knew what was going on. Bring on the Brazilian Stillions at half-time and... Uh, yeah, just turn the game around. We had uh, Divock Origi, he tweeted saying, uh, come back Kings, we kept on believing. Hard for three points in the bag and a little, come on. Divock has been playing well in recent weeks. I don't think he had his best game against Stoke, but um, he's really coming into his own now that there's literally everyone's injured. Um, so yeah, it was nice to see Divock putting himself about and yeah, he's playing well. We had Jordan Henderson, he put on Instagram saying, big three points, clap, 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 and a picture there of Firmino and Coutinho. God, them wonderful Brazilian boys. I've got a question for you. Roberto Firmino has now been booked seven times for taking his top off when he scores a goal. Now, don't get me wrong, he does look like a bloody Mexican drug lord when he takes it off, and it's pretty sick. Um, should we be getting booked for things like this? Personally, I am a fan of a player being passionate, taking his top off. Who, who cares, mate? Let, let the guy celebrate. It's only through the sponsorship of like the advertisers on the top who, who, who get to get players booked. So, but with top of the league in the fair, the fair play league, um, should players be getting booked for that? Um, we had Simon Mignolet, and I have criticised him a lot in the past. A absolute world. The Jurgen Klopp said it was one of the best saves he'd ever seen. That one off the line. Not taking anything away from Mignolet, it was a class save. It, not up there with Dudex against Shevchenko, um, but he definitely has pulled off one of the best saves I've seen. Um, bit of a sitter, though. Bit of a sitter. Can I just put that out there? But no, he, he done well. And um, he's really, he's really like, he's coming into, uh, coming into his own. He, he has had a lot of criticism. A lot off me, a lot off everyone, really. But um, fair play to the lad. Absolutely smashed it. But uh, three points was the only thing that mattered today. Great feeling. Um, yeah, so good, good, good game. And we, we move on now. And it was good to grind out grind out the game for once because I could see that the end of that game I was going they're definitely going to score they're definitely going to score and we held on so, so well played to the lads there um, in other news we had Luis Garcia he was with uh, Miss Milani saying what a sweetheart welcome to M Mumbai the Champions League trophy we've got to get in that mate we've just we've just got to do it we've got to do it there's rumours of Jurgen Klopp having a £200 million like, transfer kitty so check out the other videos for that so just get us in that Champs League. Where will we finish? We've got Mane out for the season and, and things like that. Where do you think we're going to finish? Um, we had Jamie Carragher having a bit of banter on Twitter. Uh, Mira Rose Ed said, Question for Carragher, have you ever scored a goal as good as this, Gary Neville? And uh, Carragher coming back with, Not better, but I have scored in the FA Cup final. An own goal, I was there, I nearly cried. Why? Why Carragher? Um, yeah, Liverpool FC also tweeted, Saying happy birthday to the man with the most appearances for LFC, Ian Callahan. Once again, we got you got to show respect for a great, great player, great uh, team legend there. Not again. To play any game for Liverpool, I think that's everyone's dream. Anyone watching this show would love to play for Liverpool, unless it's like one of you like other clubs coming over here to like try and troll. But fucking hell, get life. Um, yeah, so we had Ian Rush. He was also saying uh, another legend landed in Sydney to announce, announce LFC post-season match. Uh, Tour, so I think we're going round and we're playing a few Australian teams. And um, three days after the season ends, we're going to Australia to do that. So, as if the players aren't going to be knackered enough, we're going on a money spinning tour in the southern hemisphere. But it just shows you what kind of a law and pull Liverpool have. I know, like a few years ago, when Steven Gerrard was still playing, and there's a hundred thousand people, it's a, it is great to, to reach out to fans all around the world. A lot of scouts is in Australia as well. Um, so yeah, that, that, it's good money. Spent. I'm not sure. How do you feel about these tours? You got the Manchester United and City going to China and things like that. If it gets us what five or ten million, that go towards players, fair dues. But I wouldn't really be starting the the, the core eleven to sixteen players in games like that. Um, we had Loris Carius. He said it's Sunday off. Good to see you, bro. It look looks like it's an absolute stunt double here. Um, yeah. Loris Carius just looking good, as always. Um, one guy who weren't looking as good as Loris Carius was uh, Jeannie Wijnaldum, who put on this weird, creepy mask and went round Liverpool City Centre um, just nutmegging people with a ball. He's so, he's so good. <laughs> he's literally so good. You can just tell. What I don't get was... 
people are going, okay, so there's a man in a mask, nutmegging people, he's got a black neck and black hands, and he didn't think, maybe that's a footballer, because he's definitely got the skills for it. So, that's just bizarre. That's just one of the bizarre things that we, we say on this show. Um, John Arnold Recess said uh, this week, oh, how I love golf, the Masters, going to the range tomorrow, have to. And Pepe Reina said, uh, yep, you keep going, Ginge. See you in Copenhagen on June la." How? <laughs> a Norwegian and a Spanish bloke being scouts on Twitter. I just love it. I love it. Um, and another guy it was uh, Rafael Benitez. He was laying a reef um, at the Hillsborough Memorial in Sheffield uh, before Newcastle's game, which great touch of respect from Rafa. Uh, he's still got family on the wheel, as we all know. Um, and it's just brilliant. To, 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 there's an affinity that players and managers have with the club, the history of the club, and to sh see this kind of thing, it, it does really warm the heart. So uh, back to uh, footballing matters. The, the transfer ban on academy players is to last two years. So the under 23s and under 18s, you're not going to be seeing many of these lads getting released because we can't sign players in. The beauty of which is it gives young local lads a chance, the likes of Trent that uh, we've seen coming through. Scouse fans themselves want to see a Scouser on the pitch. That, that, and I think, whether you're from Ireland or, or Brazil, if you support Liverpool, you still want to see a local lad on the pitch. So... Um, Hopefully that, that does open up some room for them. The under-23s, uh, we had Robin Robin saying uh, we, we drew last week or got beat, I think, and he put it. Of course, the under-23s didn't play well. Gomez, Trent, Randall, Stewart, Gruwich, they were all off with the first team. And, um, yeah, it's shown again. We had a 2-2 draw. Uh, Harry Wilson kind of saved the day, captain of the under-23s, of course. Scored on 76 minutes as we were 2-0 down to make it 2-1. And then on the 90th minute, missed a penalty and then scored it. you just got to keep going when uh, he scored the rebound. So, uh, Liverpool FC tweeted out saying, um, I am really I really enjoyed my football this season. Harry Wilson going on. Um, is, is, there a, is, there a, is there a call to get him in the start on 11? I'm... I'm not too sure. If Gruwich isn't getting there and Harry, Harry Wilson and we've got Hendo out, and people would much prefer to see Milner in midfield than, than risking it for a young lad, but maybe next season, who knows. Um, the under-23s, uh, yeah, they, they, they played the likes of Masterson, Whelan, Phillips Hart, Virtue, um, not, not like the, the core, I don't know, like fringe first level players so um yeah not not the best result for them the under 18s also had a loss so not a good week um they basically lost it in the first 30 minutes they were 2-0 down um a goal from george johnston after half time wasn't enough to uh, to get get the equalizer and that is a big big like big point for reading they go top of the mini league um as, as we've said before on this show we only get to play these teams once, so every point counts. Even if we'd have got the draw, it kind of takes two points off them. So not looking all that good for Liverpool's title chances there. However, there's still three games to go for them. And, uh, you know, best of luck to the lads there. Um, Arsenal have only played one game in the league there, so it, it, it's a bit everywhere. Um, the lonely front, Lanzar Markovic, he got his first goal for Hull in a 4-2 win against Middlesbrough, and then they were comprehensively beaten by Manchester City. But, you know what, it is nice to see him getting a goal and... Um, I'd take 10 million for them. I'd take 15. Uh, this new TV money, it is. If we're selling Jordan I for 15 million, surely Markovic has got to be around the same price as well. Um, Ryan Kent, who has had a bit of an up and down season, he put a good corner in. Something that Liverpool lack, really. Uh, a good corner kick taker. Um, Sacco, his unbeaten run at Palace came to an end in a 3 1 loss to Southampton, but then. They go on to win 3-0 against Arsenal. As everyone will know at this point, Arsenal fan TV is going off the rick. I think they must love it for, for when they get beat for the views. They're hitting a million views with, with rants and, and characters. Um, it is a good watch. It's a good watch. But Sacco absolutely smashing it for pa Palace. And he's put it, thank, thank you to all of you, um, Crystal Palace. And he's put it, hashtag South London and proud, mate. It was, it was not about a year ago you were saying Scouse Soldier, the, the, my Liverpool nation and, and things like that. And you've, ju you've just absolute turncoat. Yeah, maybe Klopp didn't want you, but you're, sh you're showing your true colours now, Mamadou. Um, now, I've got a lot of respect for Sacco, but uh, it's like this loyalty in football. And now we, he's, he's, only, he's only doing that to, to appease his own fans and they're, they're going to like to see that. Um, but this loyalty in football thing... Is it loyalty to money? I don't know. Um, yeah, 
South London and proud. Anyway, uh, Danny Ward, he racked up his 10th clean sheet. Um, what a weekend down in London with, uh, I think it's his bed, I'm not sure. Um, Brooks Lennon, was, uh, he was playing for Real Salt Lake in their first win with a 3-0 win over Vancouver Whitecaps. Uh, and Shirivea was smashed 4-0 by Feyenoord. As, as, as is the common theme with the loney front, not, not a lot to write home with the rest of everyone else. Um, transfer target of the week then, we had Billy Simpson, always nice to see from Billy, said um, 20 million uh, minimum for Saka would be good, uh, but would like 30, maybe we'd like 100, but uh, I think 20 would be the decent shout for the left back. Nathan Ake, um, I want to, we all know Nathan Ake, he's, got, he's, got, he's, he's quite a good young prospect in the Premier League. I don't see him as a left-back personally. I wouldn't want to go from a midfielder in James Milner to another midfielder in Nathan Ake. He does play well in a back three. I personally want a specialised left back for a back four. That that's that just me simply just get me Hector or Rodriguez or someone of that ilk. Not a young and and if he was playing that well for Bournemouth, Chelsea have recalled him. Not really done much with him, so it shows that they hold him in high regard. And I can't really see them palming their players off to us uh, if they think he's good enough to recall from loan. Um, does make you think that they're going to sell him to Bournemouth for about twenty odd million in the summer though. Um, so yeah, I wouldn't really go for Nathan Aki personally. Um, so let, let, let me know if there's anyone else you think, because it's coming to the end of the season. Definitely got to have an eye on transfers now. Um, comments of the week then. We said Ashy when I asked what fictional characters would support other teams. He said it. The bad guy from the Lego movie would support Chelsea because they're all evil plastic bells, just like the rest of their fans. 54 likes. Not a lot of love for Chelsea fans. And I can't say I disagree. Um, Reese Curran said it. We want to see more of the singing. I know Reese is me, mate. Um, and no, I'll Snapchat you later. Um, John Smith said, uh, link to your comedy channel. Don't really want to divert traffic away, but it'll, I'll probably put something up here. Uh, and we had Kieran Hanks said, is it, why is it the only people that get to com comment on the week are people that insult you? Because they're the funniest, mate. They, that is the funniest. I like to have a laugh at others. I can have a laugh at myself. Um, I, for one, think you're a really good presenter. And the Extra Time Show is my favourite videos on the channel. I actually met my first ever real-life fan on a Sunday, which was bizarre. I'm just a normal person. Um, got a picture with him, so uh, cherish that if, you, if you're weird. Um, so a question to ask yourself. Um, where do you see Liverpool finishing? A big loss for Arsenal getting beat 3-0 but we've got no Sadio Mane now and we did struggle without him um, loyalty in football I'm not having a go at Sacco I, I do wish him all the best but uh, what, what do you think of that with, with the regard to kissing badges and, and saying I'm a scouser one week and then a South London guy the next um, Harry Wilson he's been playing really well is it time for him to step up with Hen Hendo is apparently Coming back, so I would like to see that. Uh, Mignolet, is he good enough to be a Liverpool keeper now? And uh, post-season and pre-season tours, what do you think? Just money spinners, is it a chance for the players to get injured? What, what, what do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do like, do share, do subscribe. Do go and subscribe to the website as well. Uh, thank you for watching and most of all, take it easy.